हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ़ यू हैवेंट सब्सक्राइब इट येट नाउ लेट्स सॉल्व दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम इंजीनियरिंग डायनामिक्स द प्रॉब्लम सेज दैट द मोटर लिफ्ट्स द 50 के जी क्रिएट विद एन एक्सलरेशन ऑफ सिक्स मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वेयर एट इज सेट दैट डिटरमाइन द कम्पोनेट्स ऑफ फोर्स रिएक्शन एंड द कपल मोमेंट एट द फिक्स सपोर्ट ए सो वी हैव टू फाइंड द रिएक्शन एट पॉइंट ए let's say that this is the reaction in the horizontal direction at point a let's say this is ax and here we have the reaction ay right right and here we will have let's say moment e so we have to determine these three reactions right so to find these three reactions what we need to do is that we need first we need to consider this uh, create as a free body diagram right and we have to analyze it so as we can see that there will be some tension in this cable right so let's say that this that tension is equal to t and the weight of the crate will be acting vertically downward and it is 50 times the mass is 50 kg so 50 times 9.81 is the weight right and it is accelerating with the uh, 6 meter per second square in the y direction this is our positive y direction this is our positive x direction right so now if i apply the equation of kinetics to the free body diagram of that crate if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to m a y right so as we can see that this t is acting in the positive y direction so i have to write plus t minus that weight which is 50 into 9.81 and this will be equal to the mass of the crate which is 50 times ay and this is ay ay is given which is 6 meter per second square right so this is 6 so now we can write that t will be equal to 50 into 6 plus 50 into 9.81 right so now we can take 50 common right so 50 into 6 plus 9.81 gives me the tension in the cable which is 790.5 newtons right so t equals to 790.5 newtons right now after this we have to consider uh, this pulley right so as a free body diagram So now if I consider this pulley as a free body diagram so let's say that this is my pulley and this is the center of that pulley right and here uh, we will have that same tension t which will be acting vertically downward right we will have that same tension t in the cable which is 790.5 newtons and here the same tension right we will have that same tension which will be acting at an angle of 30 degrees with the horizontal right so this is again the tension t which is 790.5 newtons and due to this tension there will be a reaction force at this particular point b at the center of this pulley so let's say that at the center of pulley we have two reactions let's say that we have let's assume that this is bx reaction it is this bx reaction is let's say acting in the negative x direction and let's say uh, we have this by reaction right so now again if we consider this pulley and as we know that only this crate is moving so this pulley is in equilibrium it, it will remain at rest right so we can apply the equilibrium conditions to find this bx and by so now to find this bx and by we have to find the components of this t since it is making 30 degrees with the uh with the x axis is right so this t will have two components it will have one component in this direction that is in the positive x direction and it will have one component which will be acting vertically downward so this angle is 30 this is the cos component this is cos of 30 degrees and this one is the sine component right so we can write that this is 790.5 sine of 30 degrees so now if i apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0 since the pulley is in equilibrium so as we can see that this bx is acting in the negative x direction right so i will write minus bx 
and this cost component is acting in the positive x direction so i have to write plus 790.5 cos of 30 degrees and this will be equal to 0 or we can say that bx is equal to 790.5 cos of 30 so 790.5 cos of 30 this is 684.59 so this is let's say that uh, we say that it is approximately 685 newtons right so this is approximately 685 newtons right now if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0 so now as we can see that this by is acting in the positive y direction so i will write plus by and then uh, this sine component is acting in the negative y direction so i have to write minus 790.5 and it is the sine component and this t is acting in the negative y direction so i have to write minus 790.5 and this is equal to zero and if we bring these two terms to the other side of equation so their signs will become positive so this is 1185.75 and let me write it uh, up to two figures as well right so this was 684.59 right so 684.59 so now we know the reactions at uh, the center of this pulley right so after this what we will do is that we will consider this beam right in order to find that ax and ay for equilibrium right so now if i draw that beam so this is that point b so now uh, this is the reaction forces due to the tension in this cable right so now what will happen is that this pulley will apply the same bx and by forces on this beam but in the opposite direction right these are the reaction forces right these are the action and reaction forces right so now we will have that bx force in the opposite direction so this will be our bx which will be acting in the positive x direction here it was acting in the negative x direction so now that bx is 684.5 newtons and that by will be acting in the opposite direction as well so that will be acting vertically downward and this is now this by is 1185.75 newtons right and here at the support we will have that ax reaction we will have that a y reaction and we will have that moment support as well right so this is let's say that m a so now again if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to zero so as we can see that this a x is acting in the positive x direction so i will write a x and this b x is acting in the positive x direction so i will write plus b x and this is equal to zero so from this we can say that ax is equal to minus bx and bx is 684.59 newtons right so the negative sign means that the assumed direction of ax is not accurate ax is acting in the negative x direction right now if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to zero since the beam is also in equilibrium uh, it will remain static right so now if i apply the summation of forces along y so this a y is acting in the positive y direction so i will write a y minus this b y which is 1185.75 newtons and this will be equal to zero or we can say that a y equals to b y which is 1185.75 newtons similarly if we apply let's say that this is that point a right so let's say if we apply the summation of moment about point a equals to zero so as we can see that this m a is the counterclockwise moment so it is positive so we will write that this is plus m a and this b y is producing the clockwise moment about that point a so i will write b y which is 1185.75 and the perpendicular distance of this b y from that support is four meters right so this is the moment arm so we have to multiply it with 4 
and this b, the line affection of this b axis passing to that point a so it will not produce the moment about that point a so from so this will be equal to zero or from this we can say that m a will be equal to the moment produced by that b y component right so we can say that 1185.75 multiply by 4 so this is 47.43 so the support moment at point a equals to 47 43 newton meter right so this is the horizontal reaction at a which is acting in the negative x direction so we can make it positive but it is acting in the negative x direction like this this is acting in the positive y direction and this is the so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope you people would have understood the solution of uh, this problem kindly like this video if you people want me to solve such more problems also subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet